That sounds boring to me. Yeah, let's ramp it up. Let's go. So. You can hear the tools happier at the higher feed rate. So now we'll be up at 20 meters a minute. Ready? So it'll start to climb. So, 20 meters a minute. 20 meters a minute. Let's Are we happy? No, let's go higher. Let's go higher. Oh, I'll let it finish this pass because it's just nibbling out the corners oh, of, the, of the pocket and then we'll go again. Three to go and then, so maximum on this cutter, 24 meters. I think 24. 24? Yeah. Two, foot, uh, two tips? Two tips. 16 mil diameter? 16 mil diameter. Six, six edges on the tip. Six edges on the tip. Right, here we go. Okay, cool. So I pushed you by 200. Absolutely. 24,000. 24,300. I pushed you actually a bit more. On a BT40 spindle. 24,320 feet from a two tip 60 mil high feed. Exactly. You're not going to. So, just to wrap this up, why would you use a high feed over a normal end mill? That removal rate is better for the machine as well. You know, the, the, the cutting direction or the cutting force direction is down into the, the table, down into the, the actual component. But the equal and opposite force is back up the spindle. It's better for your head bearings. And it's cheaper because, bear with me on this one, high feed inserts are not as much as an M mill. So if you're using it, if you've got a pocket that's only two or three mil deep, you've got an end mill with 20 mil through, you're just wearing away the bottom two. Yeah. You've wasted an end mill. Yeah, and you can't get the metal removal rate that no. you get with that. Faster, cheaper, better on your machine, better on your workpiece because you take the heat out. More Why wouldn't you use a high feed? More efficient. You do the job quicker, you get the job off the table quicker, you make more profit. More Simple. profit. I said, why wouldn't you use a high feed?